All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Program Director, for the opportunity. And I understand that I actually have um, 10 minutes, so I'll try and keep it very uh, brief and as well uh, get straight to the point of what it is that uh, uh, we do and particularly some of the work we've done already. So, um, so as mentioned, um, my name is Ronin Spiga from the Construction Management Foundation. And um, Construction Management Foundation is actually an NPO focused on um, I'm focused on the advancement and development of the construction management profession and the discipline uh, uh, of construction management in South Africa. So in terms of what I'm going to cover, briefly, uh, uh, briefly so, uh, I'll just give an overview of the organization quickly. Also touch on what is it that I'm talking about when I'm saying corporate volunteering. And also just highlight some key issues as well and also talk about some initiatives of what we're doing. So one of the things that uh, I think that's important uh, 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 in this presentation is particularly the initiatives that we have been working on for most part of the year. So um, as I mentioned that uh, uh, the Construction Management Foundation um, is an NPO, which started last year, uh, 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 towards the end of the year, led by uh, youth, actually primarily young people, and we have probably spent most, most part of this year um, trying to recruit uh, much more experienced, experienced individuals to serve in our board and whom I'm happy to say are actually, most of them are actually here. And, and we, we primarily focus on construction management and, and, and construction management in what sense? Uh, in education, we look at areas that are lacking in education and look at what can we create so as to support uh, 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 higher education, even uh, basic education as well. Also look at areas of research. I think uh, it's impossible to transform really and come up with professions that are able to stand the time, the test of time without investing uh, heavily and promoting um, 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 research. Also look at innovation, couple of innovations that are uh, 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 happening in the construction industry as we speak, particularly building information modeling, um, sustainability and effective and integrated project delivery, which is a different kind of a, a, a procurement model that can be used to, to really actually drive uh, um, efficiencies. And um, professional practice as well, the very essence of what it means to be a construction manager and what construction managers do. Actually, we spend quite some time grappling with that issue of really what, 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 what construction management is and, and how is it different from project management? And what are we talking about essentially when you're saying construction management? Are we talking about site management? So there's, there's a lot of issues there which we have been discussing for most part of the year. And um, yeah, ultimately the most important element is to say that how do we come up with a profession that will be able to uh, 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 really, really benefit society and also its clients? At the end of the day, we, the industry can have squabbles uh, about um, all these operational issues, but ultimately, one of the things that I think the profession is yet to do is ultimately, what is it that construction management uh, is doing for society? Yes, we construct buildings, but at what cost? Uh, we construct building and people still die. So at the same time, so, so, so in a sense, the, 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 there are a lot of issues uh, that the industry has, but at the same time, I don't think the industry has been really been able to put itself out there to, uh, 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 and promote itself to society and be seen as very valuable. And that's one of the reasons, actually, I think, um, in my opinion, that uh, we have a difficult time attracting young people in, in, in the construction industry, largely because young people really actually see us as largely a dirty and, 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 and unattractive sector. So um, as I mentioned, we, are, we have a board and uh, we also have an advisory board. And um, we have actually over 320 volunteers. Uh, these are not members, these are volunteers in a sense that um, they are involved in the projects that we have uh, through their own willingness to do so and they are able to contribute, more importantly, their skill and time to the projects that we have. And uh, made up of students, young professionals and registered professionals as well. So we work a lot with some registered professionals that are assisting us. And um, 
obviously in terms of how we do the work, we've arranged ourselves as part of task, their task teams, uh, their project teams that drive various uh, initiatives that we have, which I will mention later. And then a couple of projects uh, which I will talk about as we move. And um, uh, now perhaps I think, uh, yeah, uh, this is a corporate volunteering. What do I mean when I say corporate volunteering? So um, obviously companies at the moment uh, in various ways do support uh, various initiatives that are done by professional organizations, um, that are done by universities. But uh, one of the key issues we've seen is, if, uh, is the fact that um, most, while companies are doing that, as I think uh, the conference has, deliber has de deliberated today, is the fact that there's no approach, there's no proper integrated approach to how we can meaningfully transform and improve uh, 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 our profession. And one of the key initiatives we've looked at is to say, uh, in, 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 in one of the key things we've looked at in, in how we design our programs is to say, how can we best use not even financial not even financial resources, but how can we best use uh, volunteers who are already working in various companies to assist in terms of uh, uh, promoting the profession to young people and also uh, uh, driving various initiatives and programs that we do to uh, really improve uh, 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 construction management as a profession. So the initiatives I'm going to mention are just examples of the work that we are doing, and mostly uh, driven by a couple of uh, um, companies that are helping us do this, and they are—they haven't really put any financial uh, resources in the in 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 what we've done, but all, but the impact uh, has been quite uh, great in terms of uh, the studies we've done after some of the programs that we've finished. So, uh, uh, as I mentioned, um, the first part is one of the objectives we seek to achieve by promoting corporate volunteering is attracting youth. Very few students or learners, high school learners, know about uh, careers in construction management. And the easiest way to do that uh, for us has been to go to high schools, uh, talk to, get a few industry professionals that are already practicing in construction management, to go and engage with um, high school learners around uh, 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 what's in for them and how can they successfully be uh, uh, part of the profession going forward. And another area is also um, how can we successfully improve uh, the quality of teaching and learning in higher education so as to enhance this gap that everyone always talks about uh, between what industry teaches and also um, what, sorry, what higher education teaches and also what uh, the industry requires, uh, which I uh, uh, will highlight as well just now. All right. Um, some of the key issues I mentioned, very few understand, but more notably uh, is also is also um, the culture of innovation. That, as, it, as it stands right now, South Africa, and in fact the South African construction industry, uh, uh, while there are efforts to be in par with maybe with third world countries in various areas, but uh, the industry doesn't really have a coherent understanding of how it can innovate. And th there isn't enough initiatives, in my opinion, uh, uh, that are there to create, in fact, an, an, an enabling environment uh, for innovation to occur. And very few collaborations as well between higher education and the industry itself on innovative projects. More so, it's always been skills development in terms of funding students, but there hasn't been really concerted efforts in terms of really, really uh, looking into uh, various innovations and supporting them so as to benefit uh, wider our clients and also uh, society. So um, just the examples, because I think I'm gonna run out of time just now. Um, at, at, at VETS, uh, one of the things that we do with VETS, we have an MOU with the School of Construction Economics at VETS, and they run a course called Simulated Project. Uh, this course, uh, in a nutshell, is based on the six stages of the ACC PCMP. So the ACC PCMP, stage one up until stage six, and students are asked to present, obviously in a simulated environment, on, on how they would deliver. These are project management students, in fact, construction management students that are doing fourth year, on how they would deliver a particular uh, 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 stage. And then at the end of each, after they've done work in that particular stage or on, on the requirements and, document, and the documentation that's required, they then present to the lecturer. 
But one of the things that we were able to do this year for them was to get a couple of companies and professionals to come and sit in as, as, as evaluators to, um, uh, to, to their presentations uh, uh, so as to give more feedback to them and also enhance their understanding of really how do things happen in, in the industry. So uh, uh, that has worked out very well, particularly because students started to understand that there's a very important uh, interface between the commercial objectives of companies and as well as uh, 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 professional objectives of, 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 well, the profession itself. So, um, um, in fact, notably so, Agweni Project Management is also one of the, I think, members of uh, the ACPM has been involved, I think, since stage two and a couple of other uh, consulting companies that uh, were there. We also run a student essay competition to support third year students in construction management. So essentially what we do is uh, bring them a case and ask them, uh, in fact, we presented them a case about the failings. Currently, a lot of companies that are uh, going through a lot of uh, issues in the sector. We, give, give them, we gave them uh, those case studies and they were supposed to analyze them and they really, really, really wrote some interesting uh, uh, observation and opinions on why they think those companies are, are, are collapsing. So uh, uh, there was that. And then um, we are also piloting um, a graduate training program with Enza Construction. And one thing that Enza has done was that they wanted to understand how they can effectively support their graduates that are already on site uh, uh, to register as PRCM. So we're already doing that with them. And then one of the last uh, uh, things is bursary management. A lot of companies do fund students, but most of them re don't really care what happens to them while they, while they are in, uh, 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 in university. So one of the things that we have done is that we work with a couple of companies so as to ensure that uh, their students uh, 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 do pass when they are still doing their studies and, um, and, 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 and ensure as well that they get the maximum benefit of practical experience and also a, a mentorship that comes with the company itself. And lastly, is the innovation challenge and also um, the career uh, the career guidance. There's a guide, which is an information guide that we are creating uh, to distribute to various uh, high schools we've partnered with uh, 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 so that they can have information about careers in construction management and also in project management. Uh, I mentioned that. And also, last part, uh, deals largely with uh, capacity building for student organizations. Uh, student organizations play a key role in, in, in this sector, particularly on the soft skills, the soft skills element that come with project management or also construction management. So one of the things that we have done a lot, we have supported quite a couple of student organizations in higher education, particularly the ones that are around us. very passionate about <laughs> the presentation. Yeah, um, yeah. Can we let him go? Yeah. Because we are supposed to finish at four and the All next... Right. Uh, our table is supposed to take 30 minutes. We've lost 10 minutes already. All right. No, so um, thank, you thank you very much for, for, for the time. Yeah. <laughs>